Hiya folks, it's Thor. Thanks for joining my daily shave. Today, we have a coffee theme shave for you. And we are going to be using Katie's Bubbles Irish Coffee. And to make our lather, we're gonna be using a Yaki synthetic brush. And it is called Espresso. Hope you can see those colors in there. And that's a 24 millimeter. Just gonna get right in the tub here. Load up. Now I've been growing my beard out a little bit. Uh, I think I'm about two weeks growth right now. Uh, but I've been cleaning up down here uh, every few days. Just to make it look neat. Alright. That should be good for now. And if it's not, we'll just go back and hit the puck again. Okay, so let's wet the face. I washed my face before. Uh, so my beard hair should be nice and hydrated, but extra water is not going to hurt. All right, and start in our lather. Mmm, it's a great scent. Uh, this smells like uh, coffee. <clears throat> I'd say Irish whiskey and some kind of sweetness, maybe like Say like whipped cream or something like that, something sweet. Maybe just sugar coffee, but. And we're just gonna start agitating the soup. And it is a little dry, so I'm just gonna wet the brush. What I do to wet the brush is I run the water, stop the water, and then kind of tap it on the porcelain a little bit more quickly than that. Uh, and then I just pick up some water on the bristles. And I prefer that uh, to dropping water on it. That's just me. Uh, I do drop water uh, inside a shaving bowl when I'm bowl lathering, so it's just a preference I have when face lathering. Nice. Start and blow up a little bit. Yeah, it's starting to come together nicely there. We're gonna add water one more time. And finish off the lather for our first pass.
All right. I think we'll leave it there for now. And we're gonna get to our first pass. Today we will be using the Timeless Bronze, uh, but with a twist. Today we're gonna be using the Open Comb. Okay, and in there, as almost usual, we got our Astra SP. Astra Green. <clears throat> All right, so let's see how much this can mow down. Nice. And make sure we're able to wash those whiskers through. <clears throat> and you may have heard it from other videos, but The goal of a three pass shave is hair reduction. And so it's okay that I'm leaving little bits behind like that or that's not going all the way down to the skin. On the first pass, it's not a problem. We'll just pick it up on the next pass. Other side. All right, like I said, uh, the point of the first pass is hair reduction. So I know it looks like I've left a lot of that hair behind, but I don't want to keep on going over it again and again without reapplying some shaving cream. So you can see it's the patch right there. No worries. So we will get back to lathering. And without the whiskers on my face, I can tell how soft this brush is. Real nice. Uh, it is synthetic, but it does have a faux badger look. So I think it's intended to look like natural hairs, but it's not. And I really dig the color. Um, it's actually my first brush with yellow in it. Now it sounds weird, but just thinking that I have almost brushes in every other color besides uh, yellow and orange. So I picked this up for yellow. It looked a little bit more yellow in the uh, in the pictures, but I actually like this, uh, the way it looks in person a lot more. So I was pleasantly surprised. <clears throat> All right, second pass. We're gonna go away from the goatee. T is always on second pass, left and then right.
Second pass down. Gonna rinse the face down. This time we're gonna dry. You know, I left some hair behind that pass too, so just wanna take a look. Got some left over right there. I'm going to extract a little bit of that lather by squeezing the base of the brush and then applying the rest to my face. Now, <clears throat> if you look at other videos, usually when I do a cleanup pass, it is right uh, in this area right here and here. And so I'm not really surprised that the area of my face where I had whiskers remaining was a troubled area. All right. Should have a nice slick third pass. Nice. One thing I'm trying to focus on is not applying any extra pressure on this pass to catch any of those hairs. I really just want the weight of the uh, sorry the weight of the razor to do all the work. Not trying to play catch up on my third pass just because uh, I had some hair there before. Notice now it's all gone. Nice and smooth. <clears throat> but I do have a little bit left in the brush. So I think we're gonna do just a little bit of cleanup. Since so I do have a little bit of lather left. 24 millimeter is a little bit small for my preference, uh, even though I don't have to lather my mouth uh, for me. Um, I like a 26 to 28 millimeter brush. And I usually find that something in that range will have enough lather for me to do three full passes and also be able to squeeze off a lot at the top uh, more than just that. So. <clears throat> Press out the brush a little bit. And finish up here.
great. Third pass down. All right, rinse off with some warm water and take a look around. Notice I have a little bit of uh, blood on the bottom of my chin there. And uh, the hair there has been getting pretty coarse. So it's not a cut, but with that open comb, I think I just kind of irritated the skin a lot. All right. We are cleaned off and under there I could put some, uh, some alum, but it's just gonna burn me. I know it's gonna burn. So I'm gonna jump right into the Thayer's Peach Witch Hazel to clean up. It has a little bit of alcohol. So it will let me know where I went wrong today. And I already know where I went wrong, it's under there, so no worries. Every shave is a learning experience, so. Uh, <clears throat> overall, I think that's a nice, nice close shave. Only irritated under here. And so we will call it a success. The brush we used today, again, was the Yaki 24 millimeter synthetic. And now that I'm drying this, I'll show you what the bristles look like. So like I said, it's that faux real uh, animal hair, but it is synthetic. And the handle, which I really like, is the espresso handle. It has that nice coffee look. Okay, so going along with that, we had our Katie's Bubbles Irish coffee. And again, to me, it's, it's like sweetened coffee. So I'd say like coffee with whipped cream on top uh, and whiskey. The razor today, one of my favorites, Timeless Bronze, but today we used the open comb. So there's a little patina forming, and I'm really enjoying that. I'm not doing anything to jumpstart the process, I'm just kind of letting it air dry. Uh, instead of drying it down after use, dry that blade, put it on my magnets, and we're going to finish off with some aftershave. So, before I apply the aftershave, I run the water till it's nice and cold, ice cold. Oh, yeah. And then splash the face. Tighten up the musculature and skin there. Hopefully I've given enough time and care to the skin where an alcohol-based aftershave uh, won't sting as much, but today I am using a non-alcohol aftershave, which is just drying off so it doesn't slip out of my hands. And today we have Uncle John's Fresh Roast to round out the coffee-themed shave. So this um, has a really, really strong um, dark roast scent. All right. Generous helping there. Mm, yeah, it's such an awesome smell. Oh. 
awesome. And with that, folks, I think our shave is concluded. I want to thank you again for joining me today for this coffee-themed shave. And I hope to see you all next time. Have a great day, folks.